Gaming like a new. Hello, and welcome to the channel Gaming Like a Noob. I'm the noob, and I call myself Sansomi. And if you're subscribed to the channel, I say thank you very much. And if you're not, I say please do, it will help me out a lot. Now, it's Sunday. It's another City Skylines video that's going to be made here today. And uh, yeah, I'm feeling a little better, so I'm going to try to reach the next level here today. And um, we're just going to have to see what we can build. Um, seeing a lot of housing that should be... I mean, maybe I should change the core of this place here to be more commercial and not have people living in here. If you know what I mean. Let's see if my commercial demand, local demand, hotel demand, gas station, labor. Um, I really do don't know. Um, to be honest, I really don't know what will happen if um, I place commercial here. Do I need to place low density commercial to get st station, to gas stations and stuff like that? But I'm, I'm thinking, let's take away all these houses here. In um, but we're going to do it in this way, uh, starting with a road here quite central going straight through here and up to that road there like that and then let's see we're gonna go in here we're gonna take this we're gonna have some low dents in the corners like maybe the entire way like that and Let's go like that. And we're going to do the same thing here. Just like maybe we could get some uh, gas stations and stuff like that there. And then the rest of this will be high density um, commercial. Like that. Like that. And like that there we go will they tear those housing down i hope they do and we will get more of a core of um what should we call it a core of commercial instead of getting a core of living and of course the the industrial area is over here which we have for some um not very smart reason quite locked in to be honest um we can't expand this because we have the the rocks here and then the river and we have um the oil here and the forestry here what we could do is perhaps expand it here so I'm gonna try and do that but I want it to be a little bit drag it out well, let's see if we can sort of try oh maybe we can reach let's see if we can get into that roundabout like that we could what direction does the wind blow here because we don't want our industrial to blow into this of course so which one is it electricity let's try and go with that yes it's blowing straight down so no problems there we want some roads to go down in smaller routes now so that we can sort of try to get 
let's see we go like that and we go like maybe there and go up to that roundabout we fill it like that there we go more more industrial thing imaging uh, let's let's go with the straight road here so we see that all of that is sort of and then we go with a little straight road here as well all the way over there and then a straight road up into that and I think we'll do a little bigger roundabout there maybe a small one right here like that there we go and we have some new places to build industry on so let's do that like that could build on this road as well but we, we start with this parallel road out here to see if things goes down and uh, yeah for suburban area they are needed maybe we can build some suburban area here let's see if we can bring a road from this corner here and straight out here we're gonna smash housing projects here anyway so if we can, I wanted to I want to go down there Can we go in with that road as well? Oh, we could. Now, is there a chance that we might be able to do... Yeah, but we're going to tear down that house or that commercial place there. That's okay. That's actually kind of cool. Looking kind of cool to be... Was that somebody by air for somebody on a moped or on a motorcycle? Um... Let's speed up here and see what happens. It does run a little smoother, I must say, but I think they have loads of work still to do to get this to run as smooth as uh, we want it to. And look at the the water level here. The, in some way, it feels like it actually is beneath this wall here. It doesn't feel like there is... That it is smashing up against this one it seems like oh this one side looks better when it's i suppose it's the sun doing making this you can see this underneath the water level why you can't do it here makes it feel like it's just disappearing but yeah anyway let's go back to making this little suburban area here we need more roads where we going we don't need roads of course we do we always need roads let's do like that and that, oh, it could be cool if we could now we don't want to tear anything don't want to destroy anything do we Something like that. Let's say, and we're going to go straight now, and we're going to go from here straight down to this road. And there we have a little suburban area. Now let's see if we can fit in a school in here. Maybe I should have done it the other way around. Uh, no, we can't fit in a school, so let's see if we can have elementary school on this side fit and then our high school on this side there we go the high this high school will not be able to have 
a sporting arena or will it nope yeah it could maybe no it's it's outside there it will be able to upgrade like that now on this one we know how we want this one don't we we're not going to start with that one. We're going to start with these two and then place this one in the middle there. That's how we want it. And now we're going to go... Well, let's try this one. The, um, the thing that we got for free now. Uh, I'm pleased that they've listen to the community because it was kind of a crappy dlc to be honest or whatever they call that expansion it wasn't the it wasn't a good one and um yeah i'm happy that they listened to the community and um gave it to us for free um but still, it shouldn't. It should never have come out uh, like this, should it? Um, I mean, mm. they do have some major issues to fix, colossal order, and um, yeah, I'm not happy about where we are so far. But uh, maybe they'll fix it. Let's hope for that. Let's, shall we have a small playground here? Can we fit one in there? Of course we can. What's this? Uh, a little bigger park. Um, I don't really care if I tear down any housing at the moment. To be honest. Um, I just want to find a good way to place to have some parks here. Maybe here. Let's have that one and maybe we do have someone else that was what is this? This is a small plaza, small small park. Dog park. We need a dog park of course. Ooh. Yeah, let's place it right in the middle there. And maybe we could uh, let's see. Um purchase let's just place some tree out here now uh, looking at this this looks weird to me i mean this is a park here and it just sort of melts into the ground here you, you always had it, it stood out before but uh, okay i'm okay with it as i said but um yeah it's just that it sort of stood out before i wonder if we're gonna get the same kind of dlcs that we got i mean there mo most likely will be an airport dlc there most likely will be a park life dlc so I think there will be a couple of DLC that we already had gotten on City Skylines 1. Because this is pretty much back to basic when it comes to, to everything here. Even if we do have some things that, uh, of course, is not looking the same as uh, City Skylines 1. So, yeah. Let's see what happens here now. Uh, is this... They're still living here. And they're happy. Now that I have... Oh. Seems like... What's this? It's... Um, it doesn't look like there's any petrol stations here. But that's what they were demanding. So I, here is one. Isn't this a petrol station? Of course it is. What's the name of it? Green enough? Mm, sells petroleum, yes. 
So yeah, that's okay. And um, this one is uh, textile, so it's a clothing shop. So yeah, they are starting to build stuff there. That's uh, pretty amazing. And uh, this, waiting for a hearse, collapsed. This housing collapsed, all right. That's weird. <clears throat> Let's have a look at the stones. Uh, how much stones we have? Productions. We do have a lot of rocks, so it shouldn't be a problem. We actually, everything except for livestock, we are making more than we need. We have a surplus of everything except for livestock. So maybe we should try and find another place to have some livestock. Now the good thing about livestock is that it hasn't it doesn't it doesn't need us I should say to be on any fertile land. So let's first take a look at this so we don't waste any fertile land because that we can do as well. We could have done it here and and we would have wasted fertile land. So we can build it here. But then this we can continue with that road. Let's do that. That road has gone down there. Okay, let's see. We want this one. We want livestock. And let's see what we can do. We want as much as possible. And where is the road? Oh, what? It's going to be like that, right? The road is up now. And see the, I can hint it ah oh, just above the the cog wheels there. So let's have that one up. Let's go for you yeah, there. Yes. And we just ignore that for now. Now we need a road to go down there. I'm gonna start with just making a road. like that yeah that's good enough for me at the moment there then we have this road go down should it go down or there or there let's go down there great now we want to go into this and start um implementing the stars or the these kind of things here now uh, let's pull this one out oh we got the row there oh it goes i mean these this isn't looking very nice either to be honest i don't like it i don't really see the road i don't really know where to go so yeah i i'm I'm not one of the people that likes this, to be honest. I think it's a bit irritating. It's too hard to see where I'm going with this, to be honest. Uh, let's go. I find it very annoying, at least, to try and figure out Things that is in the way here. Let's go all the way to the beach there. That should be. I mean, I, I, I'm pretty sure there is a mod that makes it uh, easier to see, but I don't know what that mod's name is at the moment. So I'm going to wait with that. But let's go and try and make this as well. We can take this and just pull it straight down to this border here. Or maybe we could have, we can have water within it. That's good. And we go all the way to the border of the other farm. Like that. And then we take this one and go all the way out there 
I'm gonna tidy it up later on. Let's get the oh, let's see logistic or whatever we call it uh, right here first. There we go, and we now have this opportunity to. There we go. Now we tidy it up down here. But I think that will be good enough. It's livestock, and uh, yeah. It's close to the water though, and the water seems to be sipping into the farm. Now I've said it before, uh, of course, this looks ridiculous to be honest. To have a lot of buildings just in a randomly plop up like that. I hope they do that better in the future. I think if we get full power to change this, I'm pretty sure there will be some great modder to change that one. Oh, this is a very straight line. Can't we do something about that? Of course we can. Let's see. Let's go like that. And let's go like that. And there we go. That looks nicer. So now we should be getting more livestock in. Let's have a look at how it looks. Let's have a look how it looks. All right. Uh, yeah. Yeah, now it's oil, actually, that is um, that we are in deficit. We do have livestock. We are making a surplus there as well now. Services, electricity, and garbage. We are making money. Taxation, we are making good money. We don't have any loans. Here's the budget, which gives us a monthly balance of 12 million. Ooh, 500,000 an hour. We have a good uh, financial situation in the city, that's for, for sure. But um, so we can just continue to build without any problems which could be both good and bad let's have a look at these housings in here yeah, it looks pretty nice but yeah i wouldn't have paid especially if i if i hadn't if i if i didn't make videos on for you guys and if I didn't, if I hadn't bought the Ultimate Edition, which I bought because I wanted to make videos, um, I wouldn't have bought this knowing what it is, uh, this uh, Lightest DLC. So, uh, yeah. I'm glad that they made it, that they included it into the game. Uh, it's a... Uh, small little compensation for all the problems that they've cost us um i mean i'm not making any money off my youtube so i'm i'm not uh, living on this uh, of course um which would be nice if i could so do subscribe if you're listening to this and you and you're not subscribed but i mean i still feel that uh, I feel very sorry for, for, for the people that actually live on making uh, videos with City Skylines, which uh, had most of them has have probably been forced back into City Skylines 1. I don't know, but I have a feeling that Biffa is one of them that has been having forced to sort of make videos to City Skylines 1 uh, instead of City Skylines both of course because i'm pretty sure he's making videos on this as well because uh, people uh, pretty much want to see it i guess but um yeah i don't know i don't feel uh, like um I, f I feel very sorry for those guys because they of course are not let's see we're just gonna do like uh, that I feel like like yeah, they they actually have a, a much higher uh, 
thing at stake because they they are risking losing their job and, and their income uh, because of of the game being uh, less than than we expected and um yeah i think i mean i've said this this a, a million times i think there is a big possibility that it will be a great game but um yeah there is some loads that needs to be done before it it's because before it is a great game that's for sure uh for me personally uh, the biggest thing that I would love to get my hands on now is a mod that makes me use the entire map. I'm pretty sure you've all heard me say that before. But yeah, I feel, especially since this this isn't looking this isn't looking good. It's looking like crap to have it just end like this in the middle of the map. I mean, if it just continued the if they randomly continued the road and the cars moved out there as well, like it did in City Skylines 1, then then sure, that, that would look okay. I would be happy about it, but, uh, well, maybe not happy, but I would be pleased about it. But this looks crap. Just ending in the middle of the map and, uh, yeah, sort of like, do they have a teleportation system outside of that situation there? I mean, yeah. I'm pretty sure that they have in they, they had it in mind that we are supposed to be able to in the future do something with this. But maybe it's a DLC coming. Maybe it's something else. Maybe they were expecting to use this large map, but they they just. Um, found it impossible because of the performance issues that they had so they had to bring it down and bring it down and bring it down make the map smaller and smaller and smaller maybe that's the uh, the, the thing that they had to do um, I don't know but uh, something went horrible horribly wrong of course um, because we are in the situation that we are and um, it's a situation that we we should be in and Colossal Order shouldn't be in this mess, to be honest. So, yeah. Let's see if we can't or can't take away um, the possibility to park there. I want... Do I want grass or do I want wider sidewalks? Or... Uh, I think I want wider sidewalks here. Doing like that. And we do the same here. So now that's fixed and uh, maybe we can do some parking here and um, we I know I can't do this this is too big can we do I mean look at this as well I can't really see where the well I can see that it fits in there but I couldn't see it I mean it's strange Yep, they're coming, they're parking here, that's good. Is that an electric car? Private park, the owner. Doesn't say what kind of a car it is, just a muscle car. And muscle cars are not electric. Another muscle car. These are electric parking spaces. If they do something like this, another mistake from them, I must say. If they do something like this, that they have parking spaces figured out like this, that they have the electric, electric, um, yeah, special parking spaces for electric cars, then they should have electric cars parking in those spaces, not muscle cars and stuff. I mean, yeah, there are people parking in wrong places. Uh, spaces but uh, yeah not there's not a single electric car here as I can see it's all muscle and sports car and and um, yeah <clears throat> that's not good 
Oh well, at least they're used in the park fucking space, so I guess we're gonna have to be satisfied with that. But as I said, uh, when it comes to looks, we are back at City Skylines uh, 1 vanilla style. Um, we can't really do much um, details and stuff like that, so uh, yeah, it doesn't look um, super great. But um, it's, it's sort of washed out as well. I don't know, maybe it's because I don't have a very good graphic card and, and stuff like that. So I pretty much have to be on the low end of the graphics. Um, if I, yeah, I think it, uh, it could be that. Um, and look at this. The trees are in the middle of the housings and stuff. Oh, that's uh, the anarchy, I guess. Oh, crap. Oh, crappy, crappy. Oh, well. We'll have to fix that another time. Let's do some more roads so that we can reach 13. Uh, so this episode uh, can be over and done. I'm, I'm thinking maybe we should connect these two in some way, either with a tunnel or a bridge. Um, and the question is, can I make a high enough bridge there before I reach... Um, let's see, let's go... Can I go from the middle here? I cannot go from the middle either. Oh, let's, I need to do a proper road. There I can go from... And then page up, I, it's too close. It's really too close. Uh, let's try page down. No, it's too close. Uh, I need to find another way to... Well, maybe... I'm going to try something here. This could be kind of a cool solution, to be honest. Let's go up again. Let's have, um, oh right, elevation steps, let's bring that down, let's go from here, we're going to have that as well, and let's go from here, go straight out here, and then we sort of bring it down, oh, two and a half meters, five meters, That, I guess. This isn't good. Not good at all. I thought it was going to go and become a tunnel here. Oh well, let's try and move it. I don't want to lose even more housing. They're there, okay, so we're just one more, oh. like that, yes, one more away, and then we go there, and it seems like we needed to go even, no, we need to go even deeper, why is it looking like that? I mean, that doesn't look good, does it? Let's turn off that. Oh, it looks like that. Okay. Okay, so it, it is underneath the road there. But for some reason... Let's go even further down. I don't know why. I wanted to go, let's see, we go there. And then we're gonna go straight and we're gonna go straight into this. Let's see if we can't, I can't bring it all the way up to 
Is that a zero? It's got to be. Like that. Now we have a row that connects the two sides. Yeah, and cars are running down there. Good. But, of course, now we have the dilemma here. We want it to be... We're going to take away the possibility to park here. Like that. We don't want that in that sort of situation. We're going to have a small roundabout here, so some housing is going to disappear. There we go. Yeah. I think that makes it a lot better and the two are connected the two sides the suburban areas here are connected that's good and um, this is a kind of annoying i don't know if it's a power line or uh yeah it's a power line and uh, yeah i don't know if i can sort of move it um, Let's see, is there an underground button? No, I can't find that. We'll have to... I really need to, to really go through what... What commandos or whatever you call it. Uh, there's no buttons to press, just... Uh, well, you can press on the keyboard for some buttons and uh, I don't know really. I want to know how I get in contact with things underneath the ground. I don't want to do this power line all over again. Um, so, yeah, I want to use Move It, but I guess we'll have to do that in the next episode. Um, we're getting close to the end of this episode, which is nice um, for me, uh, but um, I guess for you as well, perhaps. Let's see, what do we have here? We have a temple. We could place it down there. Oh, what's this? Signature building, the Schwichten. Schwichten. From the humble toaster to the self-organized sock drawer, this factory makes everything that runs on electricity. Hmm, interesting. Uh, let's see if we can find a place for that one. What's this? Um... It is a columbarium, a set of walls for storing the cremated remains of the deceased. And that is a tomb. And uh, yeah, I wanted to have this in the middle here. There is two. There's room for one on each side here with the temple. Uh, what does that give us? A small place to provide increased well-being. Well, that is never wrong. And I think there is, it is the middle there. So we just place it there. Let's, how does this look? Hmm. Do we want one of those on each side? Or do we want one of these on each side? I think we want one of these on each side. And then we sort of, oh, we can have it all the way down by the road. And we want it on the boat on both of the sides like that. There we go. The cemetery has become a lot a lot bigger. On plus three of well-being. And yeah. Looking at this, this is let's tear this down. We need the bulldozer and we're gonna tear down that house and maybe we should tear that down that house as well and like that now we have a look yep now it should be building up new things there new commercial zones so they're starting to actually want high density residential as well which is kind of cool maybe we could where do we build that then maybe change no we want to keep that 
How was the Mesopotamic garden? How does the school here look? Is it full? It's full. The elementary school here is full. So, I mean, we really do need to build elementary schools, a lot of them, because I guess these are both full as well. Yeah, look at that. Three elementary school so close to each other, there should perhaps be more capacity in the elementary schools, to be honest. Um, the high school doesn't have that many, which is weird. And uh, yeah, this is the Grand Hotel. Let's have a look at that. Um, where is it? This is here. Yeah, this is it. Um, signature buildings. I think it was in this. And this is the switch term, yes. 2% of industrial efficiency, citywide. One college graduate, citywide. So it's citywide, so of course we want it in the industrial area then. I'm thinking maybe it's something that, oh, that's, we don't want to lose that, so maybe place it somewhere around here. There we go. And we get a chemical plant. New signature building is a chemical plant. All right, let's have a look at that. Where it should be around this, ah, here it is, chemical plant, one in industrial efficiency citywide so let's do that milestone 13 we have done it we have managed to reach another level this time so uh, we did get uh, a complete episode this time i guess <coughs> so uh, yeah could we take a look already now perhaps on what we want you're first going to see this. It's only loan limits and 13 points and expansion if you want to and 3.6 millions, which is ridiculous because we have 156 achievements. Yeah, it doesn't have much achievement. Development. Is there anything that I feel like we want, really want to get out of this? I don't know. Basic water and sewage system, advanced, nah, this one, nah, let's wait with that, wait with that, we can wait with that, we can wait with that, police station, central bank, and central bank houses, I think we'll go something, maybe an international airport, let's go through this first. Tourist attractions. I think I want that after the, the airport. Since, um, so let's see here. Server farm. Is there a collection of computer services maintaining by, maintained by the city and they are used to supply the city with more network capacity. All right, I don't think that's, and the satellite uplink is not. I think we're gonna go with this. We did, and I think we're going to go the rest of the points with International Airport. And maybe we'll build an airport in the next episode. We're just going to have to wait and see for that. Uh, what I want to do now is, of course, uh, have a look at the tourist attractions. Are there a lot of them? There's the Observation Tower. There are the bronze, a bronze statue. Is that a big one? Yeah. There's a water park and there is a medieval castle. I think the medieval castle was something that they included with um, with uh, what should we call it? Um, oh, brain freeze. It's, I think it was something that they included in the ultimate edition. This medieval castle and uh, yeah. So I don't think that all of you have it. Uh, international, oh, this is a large building. In, these, in this little map that we have to play with, and we're gonna have 
such an incredibly big building well that's going to be uh, not so fun to try and build around but uh, yeah as you can see it is a very small map I mean we it goes quickly to fill it up we need we get these big working areas as well that's sort of take up a lot of the map so yeah I don't know what to say about that I'm just gonna have a look at what is going on here yeah power line not connected well we don't know where to connect it to let's look at this How is the landfill? Yeah, that's pretty much. That's pretty. Uh, oh, there's a lot of uh, space left there. Only three prisoners. That's actually cool. We do have the possibility to increase the number of prisoners by hundreds in the prison. So, yeah, we are at the basic station now. So, yeah. And the water recycling center here, that, that's um, not really stuff that I've built there. Hazard waste condition storage doesn't fit anywhere, so I can't have more storage in this. Oh well, that's the way it is. But yeah, I think I'm going to call it. Um, I think we've done something today at least. Um, and as I said, I felt, I, I do feel a little better. I'm still not uh, great though, but uh, I feel uh, I feel better. So now we have gotten an entire episode, which we should have every week, up with City Skylines as well. I did have two weeks of Football Manager episodes to upload before I um, went down in, uh, in so to speak and that's why the football manager saves have haven't been a problem uploading but i am a bit of a rush now i've been able to do the next welling episode but i still have a united and a telford episode to do to have to to, to fill up the next week and uh, another reason why i sort of can't do the thing I do with Football Manager. When I play Football Manager, I can, when I find the time, which is very rare, but when I have a lot of time to record, I can sit for an entire day and I can record episode after episode and stuff like that, and I can, can then upload them uh, later on and stuff like that and editing them, uh, of course, before I upload them. But Anyway, but with the City Skylines, I want to be prepared for every update. So I always recall that the Saturday before I, I, am, I am uploading it. So this, this is um, for you guys. It will be yesterday that I recorded this because I want it to be as fresh as possible and to be able to to have the latest updates and stuff like that and to see if it helps i do feel like it is a little less choppy when you zoom in and move around um, like this for example i do feel that it's a little bit little less not a lot but a little less choppy when you do that and that's a, a start that's a good start to i'm hoping wait a minute wasn't this the place where i zoomed in last time i did a zoom in as well a lady walked by here and it looked like her knickers was down by her ankles when she walked here i think it is haha <laughs> how 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 weird but anyway uh, i've talked way too long now uh, i do hope that you have enjoyed this episode uh, do like subscribe and all that nice stuff leave a little comment down below and then all there is for me to say is uh, stay safe in this dangerous world have heaps of fun and i'll just end with bye 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 bye